Hey guys, it's Conf Kali with Studios here, and that's right, we are back again at SeaWorld Orlando. We were here on Thursday, now we're back. Today is Sunday. This is the third and final day of the Ace Spring Conference, which is the event that we've been doing down here in Florida. Uh, we are not going to be here very long at all. We're pretty much only staying for the morning ERT because we got to catch our flight at Orlando Airport. Um, so the morning ERT was supposed to be Mako, Manta, and Kraken, but Manta is not going to be open, so they changed it to Journey to Atlantis. Not like we're going to ride Journey to Atlantis, we might, but I uh, don't really feel like being wet going on the plane, so that's probably not going to happen. But you can see there's a ton of ACE members up here already. Sounds like they are already working on the surf coaster this early in the morning, so they definitely want to get that thing open soon. But look at that great Florida sunrise on Manta over there. Ready for some great rides in a short amount of time. So I can't really tell if anything else has been done ever since Thursday, but there's markers everywhere over here. And there's just lots of stuff going on over there. There's a machine running right now. But don't expect too many construction updates from here because I don't go here very often, but I'm very excited to see the surf coaster be built. For now, in the park. Manta looks great, but too bad we can't ride it. The first one's in line for Kraken, which means we're going to get a front row ride. It should be great. And this repaint is so good looking. And the queue on the track everywhere just looks fantastic. Shirts must be. couldn't tell by the POV that was a lot smoother than I would have expected for Kraken. Kraken's usually not the smoothest thing in the world but that was actually really enjoyable really smooth and just a lot of fun.
saw, we just did five rides on Mako. Um, probably gonna head over to Journey to Atlantis now to get a ride on that since that is open for ERT now. Um, but like I said earlier, we really are not gonna be here very long. This is probably like the bulk of our rides, just uh, crack them once, make up five times, probably hit Journey to Atlantis, maybe crack them one more time, and then that'll be it for the trip because we gotta fly back, but Mako is incredible. Brian, how was Mako? Mako was good. It was uh, warm enough near the end, but it was uh, definitely still the best hyper. Jim, how was Mako? Mako was awesome this morning, riding good, lots of air time. That uh, was running really good, bunch of air time, a lot of fun. We're gonna go get a ride on Journey to Atlantis now. At the bottom of the hill. got off of Journey to Atlantis. I didn't get too wet. I, how wet did you guys get? Not too bad. No, not bad. Woo. Poncho, it wasn't needed. I mean, if you sat in the front, on the other hand, that's a whole different story, but it wasn't that bad. That wraps up our brief visit to SeaWorld. Fortunately, these snack vouchers are kind of useless since nothing opens apparently that we can use it at, uh, except for him, he just started eating it, but we kind of got shafted there or whatever. Um, we had a good day though, otherwise got on Kraken twice, Mako five times, Journey to Atlantis once, so that is pretty much gonna conclude the trip, but we will see you guys at the airport. We're back in the airport. If you guys remember from last year, we were stuck sitting over there for hours waiting for our flight that got delayed and delayed and delayed. Hopefully that doesn't happen this time, but we're in Orlando Airport. Made it to our terminal. Thankfully, we're not taking a Spirit flight because it probably would have gotten canceled. We're taking United flight. Now we're getting on the airplane. Yeah. 